Hi guys, it's Chase from Mway, and today I'll be looking at our new Crimson Tri-X Nitro Gaming PC. First off, the case we are using is the Corsair Carbide 88R. It has a micro ATX form factor featuring a windowed sided panel showing off the Sapphire R9390 Tri-X Nitro Beast within. It has excellent cooling potential with room for up to 5 120mm fans or a front mounted dual radiator. This case itself it looks very clean and has a modern design with good storage expansion too. We went ahead with an Intel Skylake quad-core i5-6500 processor as it's a good value, has great performance and great thermal overhead thus not requiring an aftermarket cooler. For the memory, we decided to go with a gaming grade 16GB DDR4 in the form factor of G-Skills RIP JAWS 5. For the graphics, we decided to go with a massive 8GB Sapphire R9390 Tri-X Nitro video card. Now the card outperforms the GTX 970 at a similar price point. The 8GB onboard GDDR5 RAM on this Tri-X 390 truly makes this card shine when loading with high-res textures such as when modding in games like Skyrim or cranking the additional advanced graphics settings in GTA 5. The card features an award-winning Tri-X cooler which now comes with dual ball bearings in each of the three fans for higher reliability and enhanced intelligent fan control which turns off the fans for silent operation. For the motherboard, we went with a micro ATX motherboard, the B150M D3H. This motherboard supports 6th gen Intel Core processors and comes with 4 DDR4 DIMM sockets. Additionally, this no frills motherboard has good onboard sound and supports both PCIe and SATA interfaces for M.2 SSD devices. Now here is where it gets special. The storage we decided to go with features the new Samsung 950 Pro M.2 NVMe SSD for industry leading read and write speeds. The next generation Samsung 950 Pro delivers exceptional performance for professionals and gamers alike. So that's a wrap on our new PC build, the Crimson Tri-X Nitro Gaming PC. Hopefully you like this video and don't forget to give us a thumbs up or a comment below. And let us know if you enjoyed or hated this video.